Welcome to lesson 19. In this episode, I want to show you some of the new features that we have on our latest version of Analyzer CAD 2.1. First of all, the library has been extended to over 100 cupboards. Uh, in fact, there are about 120 cupboards and uh, items. So there's, uh, there's your base cupboards here. Then there's finger pull cupboards. Wall cabinets, tall cabinets, and plant extras like bench tops and uh, end panels. You also have now a different drawer system, and you can switch between them with just basically clicking a button, and uh, the amount is constantly growing uh, depending on customer demand. So I can quickly show you a couple of those new features. Um, let's uh, start with some uh, finger pull cabinets here. Just want to pull the two-door cupboard in there. Insert the object. Uh, we can adjust the finger pull height, let's say 30 millimeter. The cupboard can be placed using the grips. So you can change them to one side, or you put them back into that wall. You can move them into the corner and say, uh, put a space of 20 mil by just pulling the grip to the side, typing 20 in. So it's basically 20 millimeter off the left hand wall now. Then, of course, you can adjust that either by typing a, an um, uh, distancing there, or you can just pull it. So we can put a, a second cupboard in there, just to make it a little bit more complex. We use a variable four drawer unit. Place it next to the other cupboard. Keep the 150 mil for the first two drawers, and we want to make the third drawer 200 high. The fourth drawer will be automatically adjusted depending on what uh, settings you have in your uh, job settings. And we also need to adjust here the finger pull height in our case to 30 millimeters so it matches the one of the, the other cupboard. And same thing, we're going to adjust this to 520 in this case. With this cupboard here, we want to have the right hand end uh, as a visible end. So what we can select is uh, that the right hand end is visible. And then what it does is when we look at our job settings, when we select the visible end, it will use the material of the front and the thickness as well, and also in the assemblies, uh, it will use a visible end construction. In our case here, we got the screw dowel, and we don't want to have any screw holes showing in our visible right hand end. So here we select uh, the cam vertical. So here we can adjust our heights here, bench shop height, and all that. We leave that at uh, 900. Now we can press populate all. That's created us 3D parts. So as you can see, uh, our right hand end here has got the color of the, the front. So it's got the, the same color here. Now if we check that with our power properties, you can see the right hand end now. It's got a part type of cam vertical. So analyzer manufacturing will recognize that and uh, make all the, the connections there as a cam vertical. And um, the material here is 18 millimeter external material instead of the carcass internal. And uh, the, yeah, the thickness is 18.3 in this case. So when you run this through analyzer manufacturing, We are on the geometry scripts, and now you can see our drawer cabinet. There are 
the back here, for instance, the, the end right hand that has, instead of dowels, you can see it's got a camera article at the 20 millimeter drillings there. Same thing here, there's just the three holes for the cam fittings. As to the screw dowel construction, as you can see on the, on the left hand end here. And we selected the uh, a bloom Lego box, so you can see the bottoms are rebated out here. That's all the tool paths for the rebates. Now switching the drawer system is quite easy. What you do is you go to job settings, and you see we got our Blum uh, Lego box here. So we can quickly change this to Blum Movento. In this case, we want to have wooden wooden drawer boxes with Movento runners on it. All you need to do is just populate all and it will redraw the cabinet with our drawer boxes. With the other wooden drawer boxes. And then too, if you send the cabinets to analyzer manufacturing, it will automatically recognize the change of the drawer system. You see here, the drawer setting has been updated to Bloom Momenta. All right, let's run the geometry scripts. Now our drawer, you can see there are all the, the drawer boxes here. And that's the drillings for the Movento runners here. So it has been changed automatically. The visible end is still the same, the right hand end is visible. And this one is our, our second cupboard here. It's just a simple two-door cabinet. And you can see the cutouts for the handle rail here. And of course you can modify all these cupboards. Um, I suggest uh, generally they are grouped up, so if you go into Home and you can select the pig style and you can turn it off, so you have access to all the individual parts quite easily. So we say you want to have two two shells here. We would simply use the copy command, select shelf, and you just enter one more in there. You can move this this one down. You can drill a hole into the bottom if you like. Make a hundred millimeter hole diameter. You draw a cylinder, you move it to the right position, so you want your hole. You simply do a Subtraction. And here is your hole. Sending that through Analyzer Manufacturing will show you the changes. So a cupboard, there's your hole in the middle, and there's a second, a second uh, shelf here. It's quite simple as that. That basically concludes uh, lesson number 19. Thank you for watching.